a few days ago, Mr. Elancharian from Coimbatore contacted me via phone and conveyed the following information. Recently, he started mushroom cultivation in his farm. As the spores get easily contaminated by the microorganisms present in the air, resulting in poisonous mushrooms, they do their process in a clean environment in a laminar flow station. Despite using laminar flow station, they have to sterilize the work environment and materials using gas burners. That is when he realized that the use of lamps and camphor in arati while worshipping actually sterilize the temple environment. Moreover, we show our hands above the camphor flame while receiving arati. This cleanses our hands of any microbes and prepares our hands for receiving prasad, which we can safely consume. Many a people gather in the temple and some of them might have been afflicted with a contagious disease which shall spread through their breath. The lamps and camphor prevents the spread of such disease germs. Hence, fire is not only a reward object and medium of worship, it helps to sterilize the temple environment. I pleasantly received this information and thanked him. He then requested me to make a video on this topic. To complete this investigation, I considered the role of smoke on microbes as we are using incense and frankincense too in our worship. To my vast surprise, many such scientific studies on the role of smoke on containing microorganisms has been published which included incense sticks and frankincense also. Hence, incense burning and sambrani are not just for aroma, but also to sterilize the temple environment of the harmful microorganisms. The incense sticks are made of antibacterial materials to make them effective as germicides. This gives us an important lesson. Whenever a group of people gather in a hall, it would be wiser to use oil lamps, incense or frankincense smoke to make a healthy environment. That is perhaps the reason that most meetings start with lighting a sacred lamp in India. In houses also, it is wiser to light oil lamps both in the morning and the evening. Multiple house worships in a day not only makes us pious, cultured and God-fearing, it indirectly keeps us very healthy. That is perhaps the reason that Tamils worshipped six times a day, which was incorporated into Islam as five-time prayer. In fact, Muslims too use frankincense and incense in mosques. This practice is there in Buddha Vihars, Jewish synagogues and churches too. It is an occasion to remind Tamils of the damage done by the black devils of Tamil Nadu who, as agents of Illuminati, preached satanic mantra corrupting Tamils into being mere cattle in the name of atheism. Atheism and communism were the works of Illuminati to destroy humanity and make humans into mere cattle. Arati is a word of Tamil origin contrary to the claim as being Sanskrit origin. Aram plus Ti Arati, Arati, Arti. Aram means circle in Tamil and T means fire in Tamil. As we move the flame in circles in front of the deity, it was called Arati. The frankincense called as Sambrani is also a Tamil word. Sam plus Pranan, Sampranan, Samprani, Sambrani. Sam means together for all and Pranan means life but here it means blissful existence. By cleansing the environment and providing good aroma, it offers blissful existence for all together, meaning Sambrani. The word Pranan deformed from Tamil word Vanan. Vanan, Panan, Pranan. Vanan means breathing air, which might mean oxygen. But it is much more than that, as our lives are cosmically connected. Mr. and Mrs. Srinivas were instrumental in developing Tamil priesthood as a college curriculum offered by SRM University. We have made this particular video as a fitting tribute for the memory of them both.